going to be doing another cut after this powerlifting meet coming up. I'm going to compete. Um, probably not at 253. Probably going to take, as of starting right now, uh, I've dialed back the calories on my on my on my diet. I was getting out of control on my on my uh, one meal a day protocol, and I just don't want to be 250 pounds anymore. I want to get to 208 pounds before I decide to stay in between 208 and 215 pounds because I started off powerlifting with the goal of being lean and strong and now I'm at a point where I'm not too far away from being able to do that get to that weight through a little bit of calorie restriction a little bit of carb restriction but I can still eat a full meal every day and do it so let's get after it tonight's lesson is you don't attack uh, pull-ups with a weak mentality you have to really attack see here I'm, I'm just kind of going at it kind of disappointed oh gosh I wish I could get wish I could get these easier I wish I could get a double that's who, who the hell said you can't get a double come on try try and that you know not satisfied try harder there you go pull man that's it you gotta pull 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 your ass up there that's it See, that's how you got to attack them, right? Okay, so lesson learned. Don't attack the pull-up bars unless you're really ready to attack. Same thing with safety uh, squat bar. You got to get after it, man. You know, this is this is powerlifting. You got to be aggressive. I left the uh, knee sleeves off tonight so I could feel my quads 100%. Still keeping the belt on, but um, I could have left the belt off, but the coach doesn't want me to take off the belt, and he really doesn't want me to take off sleeves. I know you don't want me to do that, coach, but tonight I was feeling especially strong, uh, and I've been cutting back on my sugar consumption because, uh, you know, we're talking about me dropping some, dropping some poundage and dropping some some weight even going into the meet to see uh to see where i begin to feel weak so no better time than the present go ahead and hit those legs up tonight have a have a full leg day and i got one in tonight uh the work wasn't especially hard the uh the safety squat uh sets were not on a, on a scale of one to ten, I'd I'd give them six and a quarter, barely a seven, and that's a good thing. It means all that conditioning is paid off. It means that all this training up to now is paid off. It means that snake dieting before here is paid off. I lost minimal amount of muscle considering all the body fat that I that I lost, gained, and relost. It's really freaking amazing. So. Um, don't believe anybody that says that doing a snake diet and powerlifting or bodybuilding or CrossFit or Strongman is a stupid thing to do. You 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 go with the gut instinct. That's what I did. I just you know anybody who's negative, I just didn't listen, man. You know you got to show them that that sometimes you know best. Uh, but when you when you do that, then you got to put your mind to it. So here I am putting my mind to it. I was thinking, well, I got knee sleeves in the car. I'll go get knee sleeves if I need them. And I said, well, when you throw on your squat shoes and get in that squat rack, they're going to be no walking to the car. You're going to commit to it. So get your ass in there and do some damn uh, do some damn squatting. And that's exactly what I did. And all these sets are pretty easy, Coach. I'm working on keeping those scapulas right right over the midfoot and pressing, uh, pressing my hips through and my and, – and, my scapula's back into that barbell, trying to time that at the same time. Bringing that bar path on the safety squat bar down nice and straight. That's going to be my toughest challenge. Uh, but I will accomplish it. You know, the, the bar path is looking a lot better. I think I need to go a little bit slower. Just in order to stop having uh, a little upper back rounding right there. But also the depth is there. The depth is well, well there. It's very, very nice. 
So I'm very happy about that. Even tonight, I knew I was hitting depth. Yep, I knew I was hitting depth well, well into depth. So very happy with that. All right, so now the, there's a gym goer there, a gym member who turned on his music. So now I got to mute it. And these were super easy. Um, five pounds over what I was supposed to do tonight. Could have gone way over. Could have done these with five, possibly even six. But that would have been stupid, considering I'm this close to the meat. So let's just uh, take an extra five, put an extra five on there. So I don't have to fiddle around with the super tiny weights and go and crank these out. Only taking about 30 to 40 seconds in between uh, sets, sometimes even less. I think the last two sets I took like 10 seconds. Just enough to uh, catch my breath. And, of course, tonight, since I was feeling no sleeves, I felt no belt with these. Really hit, that, really hit those abdominals. Test that bracing out. Feels super good. Felt super good tonight. And uh, uh, the rest of the um, rest of the training session is kind of kind of you know it's kind of boring stuff. So I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna uh, bore you with any more of that. I'm just gonna finish with with uh, show you one show you one my first set of dips where I got 10, 10 in a row. Second, I got ten in a row. So I got. 20 dips in two sets. I had 25 dips on the books tonight, and I got four dips in my last set. That was because I went too early, but uh, it was a double victory tonight, or you know, it was a victory tonight because I got two sets of 10 in a row since I was feeling that challenging spirit, trying to do what Eric Bugenhagen asks lifters to do, which is to build a uh, winner's mindset. Do something in the gym every night better than you did before. Here, these are a little cheat curlish, but it's 105 pounds. And uh, I just want to develop some power with these bicep curls. So now that I know I've got 105 in me for three sets of eight, we'll bring it down to 90 and we'll do strict and I'll kick and scream, whatever I have to do to have super strict form, and we'll move it up to 90 now uh, with the bicep curls. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk.